Hey guys, it's Summer. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to click on today's video. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm not going to be doing a January week four weekly budget check-in. I haven't been feeling well, therefore I have not been spending much money. So I don't think I actually spent any money the last week in January. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a cash unstuffing. So we are going to be unstuffing my envelopes for the month of January. That way we can stuff my envelopes for February this week. I do get paid once a month and I do stuff my envelopes once a month. Since I have not been feeling that great, I am a little bit behind, so I have not stuffed my envelopes for February, but that will be changing this week. We are gonna stuff those envelopes this week. So I did take out the budget sheets. These are the budget trackers that I keep in each envelope. I took them out. So we will be referencing them to see if we do have the correct amount in each envelope. I do have to let you know in advance that the envelopes are looking pretty bare. So let's go ahead and get started. It says that the food envelope should have zero dollars. And there is nothing in food. Guilt free should have zero dollars. There's nothing in guilt free. five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side. Since January was a long month for me because my last paycheck was six weeks ago, I do get paid once a month on the last working day of the month. As a teacher, the last working day in December, I believe was December 16th. So I did get my December paycheck two weeks early, which means that it would be a total of six weeks before my next paycheck. So I did not participate in any of the savings challenges this month, but let's just go ahead and use the money left in my envelopes to stuff some of our savings challenges. So let's just put this to the side. It says miscellaneous should have $12. Let's see. I went ahead and put the bills in the correct order. I know it is more appealing when they're all facing the same direction. So let's go ahead and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There is twelve dollars there. And these ones were already facing the same direction. Self-care, it says, has $86, but that, it, oh, self-care has negative $86. We did go over, so there's $0 left in self-care. We did go over in self-care this month, and there's still $0. Back to the bank has nothing, and then credit card has nothing. So let's go ahead and put my wallet away. Put that tracker away. So this is my savings challenge folder. And let's just go ahead and take the money from my envelopes and put into my savings challenges. So today we will be stuffing the $1 challenge and the $5 challenge. So let's see how many $1 we will be able to add to the $1 envelope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we're gonna add eighteen dollars to our one dollar challenge envelope. I am so happy that I am able to add money to this envelope since I wasn't able to participate in any other savings challenges this month. And let's go ahead and cross off 18 
ones. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'll go ahead and put this tracker in there. And then for the $5 challenge, we are just going to be adding one $5 bill. So I will cross out one $5. So our savings challenges are stuffed. Our trackers are ready to go into our new envelopes. So let's just go ahead and update our trackers. Today is the six and it had $11 and we're just gonna put $1 challenge. So household now has zero dollars. Guilt free had zero, gas had zero, food had zero. Gas, we went over budget by $86, but I'm just going to add zero. That way it is ready to be added to our envelopes for February. And then let's update our tracker for miscellaneous. I'm going to put one and a five dollar challenge. So miscellaneous now has zero dollars in it. So it is ready to be added to our new envelopes. Let's go ahead and get our envelopes ready. I am not ready to stuff my cash envelopes for February. However, I am going to be switching out my wallet for February. In the month of February, I am going to be using my Kate Spade wallet. This is an old wallet that I've had and I believe that it is discontinued. So you have to get it off of like Mercari or eBay or Poshmark if that's something that you are interested in. And the setup is going to be on this side. I'm going to have my driver's license and my debit card and my credit cards. I did put this little pouch in it for change. I already took the change out of my Filofax wallet and put in this pouch. And these are the envelopes that I made for February. I am so excited to stuff these envelopes. I think that they came out really cute. I am trying something different. I am trying to be a lot less wasteful. If you've been following me, you know that every month I do like to change out my envelopes. It definitely helps making budgeting fun and it's something that I look forward to doing. So what I did was I made these envelopes, but I'm making reusable inserts. So this is just an insert that I made to insert in the envelope. So the next month when I make my new inserts, I can just add it here and it just makes the envelope look really cute. And then another thing that I like about it is that people will not be able to see my cash from this side. They'll only be able to see it from the back, which I don't even think they'll be able to see it from the back because I am gonna have um, trackers. So I will show you guys my envelopes. This is the food envelope. gas, guilt-free, household, miscellaneous, self-care, and then I did add a back to the bank envelope as well as a credit card envelope for when I need to deposit money back to the bank and then when I need to deposit money in the credit card envelope to pay off my credit card. 
So those are my cash envelopes. And then I did purchase this little insert off of Amazon to store my gift cards since there is not a lot of room at the front for cards. And it does have a pen slot, so I'm really excited about that. So let's just go ahead and add our trackers to our envelopes. Okay, so this is miscellaneous. And it's gonna go, oh, I hope these fit in there. It's a little tight, oh, that's perfect. It's a little, and that hides that. A little tight, but it does fit in there. Miscellaneous. This is gonna go in self-care. This is gonna go in the food. Actually, the wallet that I was using when I first started cash stuffing last January and then I switched to the Filofax because the Filofax is actually a wallet and I like that it has a lot of slots in it but I kind of wanted to do something different and I like that this one is pink pink is one of my favorite colors and I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day Well, that concludes this video. I know it was really short and fast. It looks like I do have some leftover money from the last time I used this wallet. I don't know why this $2 is there. So let's just add the $2 to guilt free. And I will update the tracker later. Well, that concludes today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this cash stuffing video and watching me stuff my savings challenges. I'm really looking forward to this month and I'm looking forward to definitely being able to participate in more savings challenges. But you know what? Sometimes you're not always able to participate in savings challenges. And even if you have a small amount to add, that's better than nothing. And those small amounts always turn into bigger amounts. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. In my next video, I will be budgeting my January paycheck with you. I do use the money that I got paid in January to pay all of my February bills. And I use my January paycheck to stuff my February cash envelopes so we'll be using that money to stuff these envelopes so stay tuned for that video it's sh I should have it out after this one so I'm hoping to be able to film that tomorrow and have it up by Wednesday well I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video bye don't forget to like comment and subscribe it definitely helps my channel out